Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a very basic video to walk you through how to use the odometer on your Garmin Instinct watch. Doesn't matter if you've got the solar like me or one of the non-solar models, they're all going to have the odometer feature. Now first let me say this is a feature that I hardly ever use. I don't really know what the benefit is of it or uh, I don't know. I don't know why it, it's even on here, uh, but I'm going to show you it nonetheless. Some of you might find it more beneficial than I do. The odometer I kind of think of is just like your car odometer. It's basically a way, for example, your car, you can look at your odometer and you can see the total number of miles traveled, but it doesn't give you a breakdown of like, oh, you know, this was trip one, this was trip two, this was trip three, this was trip four. Your Garmin Instinct is kind of the same way. The odometer just gives you a summarized view of the total distance traveled, elevation gain, time and activities, and number of activities that you've saved on your Garmin Instinct watch, that you've accumulated while using your Garmin Instinct watch. And I'm going to show you that. You press and hold the menu button. You're going to arrow down to, oops, history. Press GPS to select history. And then you're going to go down to totals. Now, when we get in totals, you're going to see a couple different things. You'll see some of your activities that are listed down here. If you want to get the totals per activity, you would want to go to the given activity. But the odometer is going to be a summarized view of your uh, activities. So for example, when I go into it, I can see that I've got 24 activities. I can press the up or down button. The total distance that's been traveled has been 13 miles. Time and activities has been four hours. The elevation gain has been 1290 feet. And that's it. There's not a whole lot to it. You can reset this by resetting your history, but um, I don't know why you'd really want to do that unless you're just wanting to start over clean. Maybe you had your Garmin Instinct, you didn't know what you were doing with it, you were just playing around and you just want to start over and uh, start with a new odometer, new activity uh, stats, stuff like that. I guess that would be a reason you would want to reset it. Once you're done looking at your odometer, you can simply press the back button to get back to your main screen. That's a quick look at using the odometer. I hope that helps. As always, if you've got any questions with your Garmin Instinct watch, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.